one can calculate the change in enthalpy from coffee cup calorimetry data. This is because the coffee cup calorimeter is open to the atmosphere, so the heat flow is occurring at constant pressure. And by definition, change in enthalpy equals heat flow at constant pressure. So to determine the change in enthalpy from the coffee cup calorimeter data, you simply need to measure the heat absorbed by the surrounding solution. Let's take a look at an example. A 100 milliliter aqueous solution containing 0.05 moles of sodium hydroxide is mixed with a 100 milliliter aqueous solution containing 0.05 moles of hydrochloric acid in a coffee cup calorimeter. The initial temperature of both solutions was 22.4 degrees Celsius, and the final temperature upon the completion of the neutralization reaction was 25.76 degrees Celsius. Now you can assume the density of the solution is the same as water, which is 1 gram per milliliter, and that the heat capacity is also the same as water, 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius. From there, you can calculate the amount of heat released upon the chemical change. After that, we can normalize the data to calculate the change in enthalpy for the reaction. The first thing you want to do is just think about what's going on. And so you have a coffee cup calorimeter. You pour in 100 milliliters of the sodium hydroxide solution. And then you pour in 100 milliliters of the hydrochloric acid solution. The reaction runs and the change in temperature is equal to the final 25.76 minus the initial, which is 22.40, which equals 3.36 degrees Celsius. The total solution now is 200 milliliters. So the heat released by the system, the neutralization reaction is absorbed by the surroundings, which is the 200 milliliters of solution. So we can calculate the heat of the surroundings, or the solution, by multiplying the total mass of the solution, or amount of water, times the heat capacity of water, times the change in temperature in this case. So the total mass, of course, since the density is 1, is 200 grams of water, times the heat capacity of water, which is 4.184 joules per gram per degree Celsius, times the change in temperature here, which was 3.36 degrees Celsius. <coughs> this equals 2.81 times 10 to the third joules. This is the heat absorbed by the surroundings. We can express this easier in kilojoules, so that's 2.31 kilojoules. Now the heat absorbed by the surroundings is equal to the heat released by the system. So the heat released by the system, the chemical change here, is negative 2.31 kilojoules. Now it's time to normalize for the change in enthalpy for this chemical change. We look at the chemistry, sodium hydroxide in solution plus hydrochloric acid in solution yields sodium chloride in the solution <coughs> plus water. We started with 0.05 moles. We started with 0.05 moles of each of the reactants. Since they react in a one-to-one -one molar ratio, they react away completely to give us 0.05 moles of sodium chloride. So if we want to normalize per mole reaction, we can recognize that the 2.31 kilojoules of heat released was released for 0.05 moles of the reactant sodium hydroxide. And for every one mole reaction that we run, we react away one mole of so sodium hydroxide. So we can normalize for this reaction in general that the change in enthalpy for this reaction is equal to negative 56.2 kilojoules per mole reaction.